we are very glad to receive these PPEs who to go a long way to help us continue to maintain the protocols. Our places are very crowded, and for that matter, we are always cautious to make sure that we don't have anything to do with COVID in there. These items received will be used to do to prevent COVID-19 from surfacing in our prison. We have a, 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 a strict measures. That is, without the COVID test, the prisoner cannot be admitted into the prison. And upon that, when they come, we don't give chance. We isolate them for two weeks to make sure they are free from the COVID before we integrate them into the mainstream. The POS Foundation believes there is a need to deconject the prisons to lessen the effect of an outbreak. The executive director of the foundation, Jonathan Osayo Wusu, is proposing the reviewing of Article 72. You know, Ghana's prisons are overcrowded, something that we are all aware. As COVID-19 came about, the president, through his prerogative, granted amnesty. We are calling on the president again to use his prerogative to grant amnesty to more prisoners for petty offenders that they find themselves in this prisons. Again, the criteria for amnesty do not add non-violent drug users. We are not talk talking about drug traffickers or traders. Somebody has been to prison because of a role of marijuana. Somebody two rows of marijuana. We are appealing to the president to reconsider the criteria for amnesty to include non-violent drug users onto the amnesty criteria, particularly when they're coming to force the Narcotics Commission Act at 1019 2020. May the president have mercy to ask these people or grant pardon to these people to decongest our overcrowded prison, which is a way to also help should COVID get into our prison, the impact will be minimized. He called on stakeholders to pass the community service bill and activate the constitutional instruments for probation and payroll. The foundation presented some assorted items and COVID-19 safety materials to the Ho and Akuse prisons. Actually, during the time of the COVID-19, we suffered, but we went according to the rules and regulations offered from headquarters, prison headquarters. Hence, there has not been any record of any death in our prison, despite the congestions. But as they are here today, I know they are also hearing all the good works that we are doing. That is why they bring all these things to support us. So I would like to thank you so much for all that we are doing today. And we pray that the Almighty God will protect all of us. Thank you very much. In terms of the support team, before the public certification, some of us took it on our own. I, for instance, I bought uh, periodical buckets, a set of uh, liquid soap and some tissue before the public came to our So officers were personally using their funds to also support the business. Yes, yes. Don't spoil the record. Don't spoil the record. Don't the record. Don't the record. You have such a good record. If you relax and then you're kind of saying uh, COVID gets in, the whole prisons will be affected. What good have you done? Almost one and a half years, officers and inmates, you have done this work and maintained the record. I want to thank you very much for coming here what you have done uh, this afternoon. Uh, we have been receiving donations uh, in respect of COVID, but I'm sure this is unprecedented. The largest so far that we have. So I thank you very much.